firm in this time. Thank you. Okay, so I, I need to start by responding to Eric. I'm sorry about that. But uh, Eric, the your views on vouchers actually are not that different from mine. What Ben pointed out at the beginning was that the question was about diversity in the ward and roll the tape, show the question, okay? And then right afterwards, because what I said was not every African-American who lives in ward three is on vouchers or it's transitional housing. That's what I said at the time. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe my recollection's wrong. Roll the question, roll the response. Housing Production Trust Fund, I'll, all I'm gonna say, cause I'm gonna have limited time here. I chair the board at the Lisner Home. We just landed the first ever Housing Production Trust Fund project in Ward 3 to build 93 units of deeply affordable housing. I have found a way to do it. I will find ways to do it in the future. I found a way to do it where we won over all of our neighbors and they supported in support of our, pro they testified in support of our project at the Zoning Commission. It can be done. It takes working with people to get it done. And that's what I'll do when I'm on the council. Thank you. Uh, candidate Goulet, your response on that question. Unfortunately, I think I'll need to respond to Matt as well on that. The question that was raised was on how to close, was not inclusiveness, was on how we close the racial wealth disparity gap in, in the ward. And you know, what, what I was suggesting was we needed to also look at residents you know, with vouchers and connect them to job training because unfortunately, given the racially divided nature of the city and our neighborhoods, you know, the statistic that was cited by the chamber was only 4,000 of our residents you know, in Ward 3 were African American and that poverty tracks with race in the city. So you know, what I was discussing was the need to tackle poverty. And, you know, and I'm just still, I'm really just horribly offended by, by what you all did. And it really, this just, it, it was too much. But politics aside on this, Housing Production Trust Fund is the most important tool we have in the city. I think we need to focus more on the, the middle range of housing, you know, for housing production, but with the zero to 30% AMI component and making sure we build three bedroom units around our metro stations so that we you know, ensure that families can start to live in the housing we, we, we build. And I think that that's gonna be very important. Thank you, Kennedy Bergman, your response on this. Yeah, so I mean, I think the first thing I will say, I'm gonna slightly disagree with your, I'm gonna fight the, the premise the, that you laid out. I do think oversight has been extremely poor that the council members, you know, learn years after the fact that we're not spending dollars uh, as much as we should be, you know, we have to wait till an auditor report. It's the oversight needs to be improved. But I do think, you know, with all bureaucrat bureaucracies, the way to drive them forward is to look at the benchmarks, to look at the measurements that you're, you're using to drive them to, to meet those goals. And so those are clearly not there. But I think that the broader thing, you know, we need to invest in the, the fund. We need to maybe make that a higher threshold than 50%, but we can't rely on it alone to build affordable housing and to build deeply affordable housing because it's not going to get us there. Just in the same way, you know, a kind of uh, or a smart growth uh, dreamland of deregulation is not going to result uh, and, and deeply affordable units being pre, uh, created on scale through the market alone. We have to look through other solutions. That means leveraging public property. That means thinking about social housing. That means all the tools on, on, the, on the table. And we will get to at least a few of those in our future questions. But for now, candidate Brown, your response on the Housing Production Trust Fund, please. Thank you. 